All right. Now, as I looking, this is the shade tree engineer. Some more of my shade treeing. You see where these wires come out on the inside of this 360? I realize I don't have the best. My shade tree is not real good today. But you see right there around those wires and this other set of wires over here. Um, if you nick your cable up here somewhere, if you nick that cable below the water line, it's going to come straight down in your electronics. So I'm just telling you, if you nick it, you need to take this thing apart and dry it out. Now, if it's under warranty, uh, maybe Hummingbird might do something. But anyway, I bypass the terminals on these contacts that I keep getting a false reading for. I don't know if it's the contacts or if it's a software issue. Uh, I'm still working with Hummingbird. I believe if anybody can resolve the problem with my Mega Live and 360 and my Solix, my old model Solix Gen 2, uh, I believe that Hummingbird can. When Mega Live works and 360 works, it's better than ice cream. And when it doesn't, it's a little bit aggravating. But if you have a question on wiring or whatever, you can call me or text me or email me at uh, the shade tree engineer at gmail.com or text me at 409-489-2164. I don't promise to answer phone calls unless you leave a voice message. I do not answer numbers I do not know. Leave a voice message so I know what you want. So I've taken this apart and uh, I needed to get the cables out of the long shaft because um, I'm putting this little short extension on the bottom of my shaft that's going to be a uh, hand remote controlled system. Fully hand remote or touch toe on the floor with the touch toe pedal. Now, in saying that, I stuck a piece of uh, old measuring tape up in here. You can see I stuck it up in here when I was splitting this shaft to, to get them wires out of the inside of it because uh, I'm, as I said, I'm mounting this on the bottom of my self-deployable system for my new system, and I needed to shorten the shaft, and there wasn't no way to get the wire ends off on the, on the other end, and it was going to be a major job in here, so I just stuck me a piece of measuring tape up in there, and I took my grinder and split this other shaft, and when I would hit the measuring tape, little bitty sparks would fly out. And I was being extra careful and gentle, folks, because I didn't want to cut my cables. But I cut the whole length of this shaft. I cut a section out of it, got my wires out. Now I got to cut another little uh, groove right here. From right here, I don't know if you can see it, down to right here. I got to cut a, about the same width section out, maybe not quite as wide as this and my cables is going to come out the side right here and they're going to be tie wrapped to the side of my mega live cables that's going to be fully mega live is going to be fully uh remote control uh or touch toe control and then the position for the uh, for the uh, uh landscape view or the flat view uh will be controlled by a separate uh, 12 volt actuator and I had uh, I'll try to get a picture of the uh, model number off of that actuator again so you can see the name I got it from Amazon but it's a, made by Progressive they have the longest warranty and I think uh, they're American made I think but anyway they have a longer warranty and a, uh, I think will be a better company uh, progress, progressive uh, build actuators. They got a, uh, we get more into that later, but I'm just showing you I'm preparing the 360, getting it ready for this system I'm building. Uh, give me a, 
uh, a subscribe down there on that red bell. Hit the little bitty bell to the right so you'll get uh, alarm notifications when I put the new video up. And uh, folks, help other disabled and uh, handicapped and veterans and handicapped folks uh, try to pass on some of this information because this next system I'm building is uh, it's the it's the top of the line uh, and I hope like I say that I can get some company to um, cut down the size of what I'm having to use to a much smaller scale uh, because it you're not picking up no trolling motor out of the water it weighs 50 pounds <clears throat> you're just picking up transducers and trust me folks there's nobody out there that's got a system like this i'm building it designing it the shade tree mechanic on youtube uh pass this on text people call them pass this on to companies tell them to look at my new video that's going to be posted pretty soon as soon as I get this 360 part here I'm working on ready to connect to my other shaft. It won't take long from that point to get it uploaded to the internet and show you the working model. And so uh, if I can help you, let me know. This is the Shade Tree Engineer, Andy Rushing, to Toledo Bend Lake, East Texas, 409-489-2164. The Shade Tree Engineer at gmail.com. The Shade Tree Engineer at G, uh, YouTube. So look me up. Give me a uh, refer somebody else. Tell them about it. Get, get the news out that there's a totally new system coming, fully remote, fully remote to put it in and out of the water and to turn it to any degree angle and straight forward, straight down or in landscape, straight forward, straight down. Thank you.